good 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 welcome to public show and this one is an uh, a, a continuation of the uh, ministry of agriculture livestock department auction that took place on the 13th uh, tuesday of this week we have uploaded uh, the first segment which is a short uh, episode where you saw how the auction was taking place where it was happening and if uh, some improvement i've seen um, make comment about how this auction took place now this segment is covering um the importance details of the vehicles surprising and how they were sold because that is the important thing if a vehicle was reserved at around um, um 20,000 or 30,000 did it go to an extreme price whereby it became so ridiculous or it was sold at a very reasonable price depending on your views give your comment there because today this one we are doing it different there you are 27 vehicles that were being disposed and some were at uh, Kapengodia Road Pale Directorate of Veterinary Services na zingine lot 1 to 7 zilikuwa pa Kilimo House so this means we will have a two segment session and we will start from um, uh, from the last vehicle because that way auctioneer started and he started with the lot 27 going all the way to lot 1 so we will have to uh, use that module your ways kupata how this one took place lot 27 uh, this one was uh, the Mercedes uh, uh, G wagon uh, 290 remember the Mercedes uh, that was sold to 3.8 2.5 million and they brought a lot of attention and they create awareness to the public and uh, even the government officials however we will we are yet to know if those individuals really cleared the 3.8 million however that is not the case the the case is about how did this Mercedes G wagon sold this time around? Because it was it, it a little bit looks in shape and it was in like a good shape. However, they are in the same category, the same model, the same year with the one that was sold at 3.8 million. However, this time around, and the funny thing is um, this vehicle, you will see who, who took it and be keen to see even the same person because as i said you'll be the judge on public show and compare if you can connect the dots who really took this vehicle <laughs> This vehicle was reserved at 120,000 and this vehicle is a 2800cc. It was a KAG 138 lot 27. Reserved at 120,000. This at 700,000. The same time reserved from 120,000 to 700,000. However, it's still a higher price, but we expecting uh, something uh, still we are on the process of learning at least they did not go to extreme levels of putting this vehicle to the value of around 2.5 million or 3 million this one is a bit reasonable and uh, however we would recommend if it, it was a little bit lower however 
you are the bidders and make sure that you get these vehicles at the best price possible. Then we have lot 26. Lot 26 was Subaru Legacy. This vehicle is a petrol 1800cc and was reserved at 50,000. Reserved at 50,000, that means we expected um, the price to be a little bit uh, different. And at the same time, this vehicle, Ilikuana, one bidder. <laughs> you watch this video. Not 26. Number 26. <laughs> So this guy was the only one who was bidding and uh, uh, a couple of vehicles had uh, one bidder, two bidders, so you can see and uh, not every vehicle um, had so many bidders. So he is 60,000 because Alikuwa Moja. At the same time, Lot 25 is Uzu JJ 110. 1800cc which was reserved at 20,000 and this one also had one bidder <laughs> <laughs> and it was sold at twenty five thousand. Number Since from this end, the vehicles did not go at uh, those ridiculous prices. Then we have lot 23, lot 23 in Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla uh, at 1300cc which was reserved at 40,000 being reserved at 40,000 this vehicle sold at auction in Andalea to go number 23 23 in a kai gonna This vehicle sold at 100,000 from 40,000. My Toyota born, I'm not exaggerating. It's an abar. He kind of ampaka 100,000. Not the judge, but you guys, we are still improving. You can see there is only even the auction and uh, how the decorum and the uh, people are carrying out themselves. And uh, we were able to record this auction peacefully without any drama, without any issues, because it's a learning process. Me, the auctioneer, the government officials, this is a new thing that they are seeing. It has never happened before. A media platform coming to record the auctions live and letting the public know this one. It's a working progress. However, in future, under our media, big media houses, you in Bonazilipotea, Amazilipotea.
kujificha kwa nini they don't cover these things but we will ensure we post this one lot 22 we have lot 22 subaru legacy subaru legacy was uh, reserved at what the subaru legacy was reserved at 60000 and this one i think it is not 22 haipo pia na watu wengi and it is sold at 70000 i see these vehicles from lot 27 to kipanda as it went at that ridiculous prices because they are very old vehicles worn out and not even in our current market however unaweza nunua hizo machomo ukatakate uuze upate pesa juu kama gari iko na tani mbili tatu uuze each uh, kg at 60 bob ama 50 then you're in business tuko na lot um, 21 subaru legacy ingine in reserved at 40000 this one i believe ilikuwa na one bidder alinunua alta azina watu wengi wako interested nazo and uh, to make a video i can see pam rick show has brought her little influence 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 this one is was sold at 43000 good 43000 lot 20 hii nayo ni toyota prado eh hey, hii ilikuwa na watu wanaitaka sana lot hii ni toyota prado Edwin Tikazi hapo Toyota Prado 150R Toyota Prado was reserved at 180,000 being reserved at 180,000 it is sold at 360,000 good at least we can see improvement and people are not really exaggerating these prices to um, unbelievable levels then we have a lot 19 toyota costa petro which was uh, reserved at 180000 and uh, it is sold at 265000 toyota costa munaona image yake it's a vehicle that uh, it's not common on the road but it has been there for years This is lot number 19. Lot wameanza kuongezeka. Lot 19. But it is sold at 265,000. I'm trying to cover this very fast ndio muweze kuona hizi magari na mujue ziliuzo aje because we posted about them I showed you the videos of the vehicles the images also in the event you don't see a particular image and you see the the name of the vehicle and the lot number then you can connect the dots and ujue hiyo gari ni gani because sometimes these images are mixing up but I'm doing my best to ensure that you get the clear details okay we have another one lot 18 mazda 323 uh, petro 1500 cc this vehicle was reserved at uh, 50000 again it push we are on lot 18 and let's see how this one will going to fare hey leo kashesha kashesha leo hakuna tumezoeka zoeka hapa and uh, we are covering auction kafika mpaka 125000 funny enough no problem not bad but we are hoping as as, as the auctioneer was still saying and telling uh, people 
please guys if you are bidding these vehicles and you bid at a higher price make sure you clear that amount and don't abandon those vehicles because you can see like a vehicle that had that sun the sun selling at over two hundred thousand, and it was reserved just below fifty thousand. that makes it uh, unrealistic and even the auctioneer and the officials there they were worried and they ensured they are recording the names of the buyers one at a time to ensure lot to one, number one, two, three, four, and a square recorded. You are easy to trace down who you are kishindo kuchukua wapigie au wengine. However, the essential thing is to sell these vehicles. Then kuna e issue up a lot 17. As I said in the previous video, lot 17 did not have a bidder. However, this vehicle still sold because the auctioneer from the previous upload gave a chance for lot 17, lot 10, and lot uh, 14, which did not have people who had bidded or paid the, the, the deposit for them. It, they were sold after the auction and happened. So even lot 17 was sold later and it was reserved at 50,000 Mitsubishi Lancer and it was sold at 65,000. Meaning uh, people mulipewa your time ya kuenda kuyangalia tena juzilikuwa within that locality. Watu waka review, waka review, waka angalia because I have uploaded that video. You can go and check it. And people are satisfied, were satisfied with the condition of the vehicle, and a few bidded for it, and it is sold at sixty-five thousand. Then lot sixteen Isuzu TFR, uh, sixteen hundred CC was reserved at eighty thousand, and this one sold at. <laughs> Lot 17, Aina Mtu, so we are going to lot 16. Mia. 110. 120. 130. 135. 140. 150. 150. Mia 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 the Isuzu TFR sold at 200,000. Ridiculous and unbelievable. At the same time, who are we to judge? So, I was talking about this Datsun 200 Petro 1200cc, a very old vehicle. Uh, hey, hey. Reserved at 35,000. It was lot 15. Was reserved at thirty five thousand. Remember, there is also another Datsun that was reserved at forty thousand. It was lot ten or the same Minister of Agriculture, but um, ilikuwa pa Kilimo House. Kale ka Datsun kalikuwa lot ten kalikuwa reserved at forty thousand kaliuzwa um one fifty thousand. This one reserved at thirty five thousand, and it is sold at uh, unbelievable. Sold at two hundred thirty five thousand. Situonge kuzi kadatsan GKS five six seven sixty four seven sixty four kala kengine kilimo house wale kauza pesa mingi forty thousand kalikuwa forty thousand but kali uzo one hundred fifty thousand what about this one which is lot fifteen lot fifteen ah uh -huh. needs a lot of work. And let's see if we can peep the interior and see what we are expecting. You have an anusi. Ah, kame funguka. Good. Well, hapa siji, labda unumulia watoto wa chezi hange hii. If you don't want to spend a coin on it. Let's see if we can know when this vehicle was manufactured by looking at the safety belt. Well, you can't see, you can't tell. I will not lie to you that I have seen it. So, I was doing your Gary, Tuneza Pelekia, Omar Garage, Uko Roiro, Atangamuke, Atanganeza Kitu Safisana, GKS764. This is the rear part of the Detan. Let's see lot 15 it and gapi. 
vehicle is that you even in the market you can't find this vehicle at a, above 50k but i know kigongo san uta inunua na 70000 but we have no problem if you bid it at this amount make sure you buy it at that amount don't start playing monkey business okay then as we are concluding on this first session because we are covering paka lot 1 we are at lot 14 lot 14 also did not have a buyer haikuwa na mtu yako interested nayo from the first go it's a mistubishi lancer uh, it was reserved at 50000 and this vehicle after the auction it is sold at uh, 55k 55000 the auctioneer gave uh, people a chance to go around check the vehicle and if interested in it you bought, you bought it now as we are going to cover a session of uh, part B of this uh, selling price of the auction vehicles i would like to make it clear to you guys the important of this discussion is to help you learn about auctions see how they are taking place and uh, commit yourself to participate in auction because the more you participate the more we are bringing it to life the more we are making it we are creating awareness and the more we have new people on board new individuals coming up to buy these vehicles then we are making it more transparent more interesting and also we don't have to learn about it in theory but also in practical we participate i know we have a challenge especially for this uh, state house auction that you have seen how it is creating drama i was there in all those activities but auction we will not relent on it okay let's now wrap it up to this point remember guys to subscribe to palm rick show so that you can get this information as it is happening and before it happens once the announcement has been announced you get this information this is palm rick show and my name is patrick motuma keep tuned because part 2 is coming up next